Hey, there's some girls in there. I said I watched porn at one point in there, so you know. Holy shit. So, so there's some good shit in there. <laughs> New discovery. Zach watches porn. He's discovered women. Everybody watch out. <laughs> He's discovered women in his dick. Look out. He went from 13 to 14. Oh, for the love of God. I have come to tear apart your agenda. <laughs> I'm here for that's there's not much to tear down how the fuck can you destroy a shanty what are you doing kicking down my one support two by four <laughs> leaving me and my family homeless <laughs> just just get sure you know what reality looks like hello everybody and welcome to episode 189 <laughs> of the Camcast, the podcast that asses <laughs> <laughs> yep it's up there uh, it, it sure is uh, anyway, I am Mike, dear leader, doc taste, leader of men, herder of cats. I'm actually wearing comfy pants today, so he is. there we go. Uh, the guy who's wondering what the fuck he got himself into. <laughs> I am joined normally by, uh, by your mind, our professor, or your mind, our uncle radical professor of the ghetto arts, tenured but unlicensed. We call him Scoots because he drags his ass on the carpet. Dave. We tried to get him to stop. He just fucking won't. We gave up. We, Caesar Milan is out today. We we have to hide his medicine in like a rolled up piece of bologna, but he's caught on. There we go. No, but he's uh, he's on his way back from LS Fest, so he is. Dave is not here. He may come bursting in at some point. Wonder if he saw Rob Dom. Uh, who knows? I wonder if he saw the Dirt Every Day RV flop over. <laughs> I thought I'm like I'm not surprised by the slightest. On this episode of Dirt Every Day, we succumb to physics. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the photo of them laying next to it? No, they're like on the ground laying next to it, and they're getting photos with it. It was amazing. That's great. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Fred and Dave. Not not our Dave, other Dave, Dave Chappelle. Not that Dave Chappelle. I look up to those guys. Anyway, uh, but I am joined by the one, the only, the chairman of the boards, Zach Lords. Ahoy hoy. Oh my. Look at you getting all sorts of fucking saucy. Yeah, I change it up every every once in a while. There you go. Variety is the spice of life. Yep. Speaking of spice and life and of. <laughs> Sir Dad Noises. Yes. AKA Joey, AKA Geek Neek, AKA There we go. Freak Neek. <laughs> AKA Digital Driver. AKA I don't stream anymore. No nope. <laughs> I don't stream anymore. <laughs> there we go. Because I am fucking broke. Busy. Yep. There you go. One, one of those has a bit more to do than the other. Midnight Club will come back soon. Yay! Don't you worry. It'll come back. Good. I'm yeah, that's forward to it. That's show you haven't figured that one out. Uh, anyway, we are at Cam on a Mag on all the social medias. So, um, hey, if you're enjoying this, go ahead and let us know. If you're hating this, and I, and <laughs> please I fucking let us know because we would love <laughs> to laugh at your emails. Oh uh, no, you're not. I don't have to tell you. You'll let me know. Usually, when you see me in person. That makes it so much more awkward and harder to produce this content. <laughs> I need you to meet me halfway. I can't wait until someone actually comes up to my face and tells me they fucking hate me. Oh, it's going to be a great <laughs> day, and I hope I'm there for it. Oh, please. It will break me as a human being. What can I do to make more people hate me? <laughs> Just be more like me? Be on this podcast more. Apparently memes. Speaking of podcasts, you can find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, wherever you find your podcasts. There you go. Oh, Jesus. They're dabbing at the end of the table. Just dueling dabs. It's a dab sandwich. Oh, God. Oh, we're running low on battery. Oh, plug That's it in. An issue. Thanks. Please <clears throat> plug it in. Holy Jesus. Please plug it in, she said. <laughs> Figure it out, Zach. Plug me I in, did it. Daddy. I did it. Good. Uh, support this catastrophe on Patreon. Patreon.com slash camautomag. Listen, despite somebody leaving, just voting with their dollar saying that... Uh, they're not a fan anymore. We have actually hit our goddamn Patreon goal of $150 a month. We don't fucking need you. <laughs> Clearly not. We don't need your five goddamn dollars. All I need is this lamp. <laughs> and I would like to, at this point, uh, give a shout out to our new patrons. Uh, Sam Babbler, longtime fan. Now he's a contributing member of the fucking catastrophe that is the Cam Shenanigan, Shenanigan Super Secret Group on Facebook. And Josh Carter... Flat out automotive. May or may not be regretting this at this point, <laughs> but you know what? Appreciate it. And uh, also shout out to Matt Parker. He upped his pledge from five to ten bucks. So, gotta send, yeah. Got to send him some stuff. Uh, anyway. 
take a sip of the beer. Yes, I need that. Uh, anyway, uh, we have a couple of shout-outs. Well, one shout-out real quick. Uh, shout-out to Michael Dillon. He got his GTR California legal. So, good for him. He fucking finally. Yeah. Because, I mean, I remember that, that whole adventure starting when he still lived here in Utah. Yeah. And uh-huh. he goes out to California, still with the goal and all the money in mind. And it's like, oh, I'm in California. That's right. It sucks out here. Yep. And so that became a whole... He's had that GTR now for probably a year and a half. I thought it was closer to two. <laughs> Might be two years. Yeah. Honestly. I remember following all, most of his progress with it. I'm happy to see it. <laughs> Finally done. on the road. Yeah. yeah. So. I'm going to make a trip out there and ride and... It is a midnight blue R32. Yeah, he is. got it. It was originally the every the every R32 gray. <laughs> and he's like, "Can you guys like paint it for me? Please? Can we paint it a different color? Mid- midnight blue?" And they're like, "Oh yeah, fuck okay. yeah, yeah." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember the reveal of it. And I was mm. like, "Oh, that's sexy." It is. It is actually really very. Really sexy. It's awesome. He used to sell me those wheels so I can <laughs> put them on something like an LS. There you go. Or your fan. <laughs> fam. The van. Oh, the van. Just slot them on the van. I think it actually is five by four and a half. That would be sick, though. Do it. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, uh, we have some birthdays. Shout out to, happy birthday to uh, Vinnie Meyer, Andy Munch, who showed me all six of his looks at the NASA weekend, which you can now see over on the website. They are hilarious. Hmm. Yep. Andy is, uh, he's definitely something. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Wow. <laughs> Uh, I, don't, I don't think that's been picked up on the podcast. We could, we're having a party you can't see. <laughs> uh, lovable, huggable Glenn and Jeff Woodyans. <clears throat> Happy birthday to the lot of you sometime this week. Do we have any more information about that thing with Glenn that we might be doing? Uh, yeah, I got to talk to him a little bit more. We actually have to, we have to build the fucking table first because it's not, what we are planning is not going to be supported by this. Holy fuck, let's do it this next weekend. Not this one because we have things going on this weekend. We got to talk, this weekend I'm going to talk to you, I'm going to talk to Brandon Kuhn because you will both be in the same goddamn spot so we can sit down for 20 minutes and figure out this table. I will go buy a plywood for this. Okay, good. Well, actually, no, don't do that because we have Patreon money for that. Well, no. Okay, I need fine. No, I need you to help. God, we'll talk about this later. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> Jesus, tap dancing Christ. Ah, uh, well, good news, folks. The GT Sport Challenge is back, in all of its former whatever. It had glory. <laughs> I wouldn't say glory. Anyway, so I'm calling this one the Highway Heroes Challenge. If you don't like it, fuck off. So instead of being one car, one track, you know, whatever, figure it out. I want you to, you know, showcase your personality or your fandom, whatever. I don't really, I just want you to be you, be the best you that you possibly can be in this digital space that we're living in. So, you have your choice of either of the Toyota Supras, the Fairlady 300ZX, or any of the, or the R32, 33, 34 GTR, NSX Type R, the 92, uh, the FC or the FD RX7s, the 22B Impreza, or the Evo 4 GSR. You are building a highway car as best you can in this fucking game. Uh, your track is the Tokyo Expressway East Outer Loop at twilight because, you know, we run at night because that's what we do. Uh, there are some restrictions. Uh, level 2 power and weight reduction. I don't, you know, I want to kind of keep some tabs on this and I don't want to see just dozens of replays of everybody just spearing off at that first turn after the big long straight. <laughs> It's hilarious the first couple times. Yeah. Number seven. Learn to use your brakes. Yep. Uh, anyway, and you're also going to be on sports soft tires, so, <clears throat> you know, don't worry. There will be a truly unlimited challenge coming up, and you will hate me for it. <laughs> <laughs> and you will wish I'd never put it out there. Yes. So, obviously, big points go to whoever gets the fastest lap, but there are bonus points, and I will be determining them, and they are fairly straightforward. Are these rules? Eh, it's really, I mean... The points don't matter. <laughs> listen. The rules are made up, and the points don't matter. That's pretty much... Really, this is just who's line except for a video game. So... I'm into it. All right. Uh, anyway, so you can get bonus points for top speed, so whoever... Who, <laughs> whoever cracks the sound barrier... You're getting some bonus points. You said you don't want us flying off into that last. <laughs> Listen, I don't want everybody doing it. I want somebody to exercise restraint. <laughs> uh, what? What is this word? I hear two <laughs> syllables, but I don't know what it means. Don't worry. We'll get to it later. Uh, best fake team name, because, you know, 
everybody who's everybody has a crew, so come up with a fake team name and hit me with it. Uh, come up with an awesome livery, period correct preferred. But you know what? Listen, if somebody just, if somebody can do a full on like Itasha livery in this game, fucking hell, just Cox. <laughs> Itasha is anime, right? Yes. Just big old fucking titties everywhere. I mean, okay, that's that's one interpretation of it. Tight. So we're we have two very differing opinions of the same <laughs> giant thing. cocks and big titties. Yep, I'm down. It's just cocks. Okay, just a big cock. And then, Dicks. <laughs> and then I'm going to make you Penises. go into photo mode during your replay and get me a kick-ass photo. So schlong. You, there you go. You have until Sunday at midnight to make this happen. Go forth, you Willy big, Wonka. You big tramp of veiny sons of bitches. Why are you shaking your... I don't like the carbonation. What? What is God, that? you're a pussy. <laughs> I really, do lo- <laughs> Really? Really? <laughs> yeah, normally there's somebody here taking care of this for me. Uh, that's right. It might actually work still. Yeet. There yeah. we go. I don't know how for how long. I promise <laughs> I love you, Zach. Don't be mad at me. Oh, God. Or be mad at me. I love, I love your face. That's about hey, it. there we go. Okay. Came back. You're really fucking lucky on that one. <laughs> uh, you know what they say about luck and such. Anyway. Please stop, uh, .mp3. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to stop! <laughs> All right. We got to move on. Jesus. We have... We only have three stories that I hastily threw into this fucking agenda because so I got to do something. Listen, first off, go to camautoswag.com and buy some shit from us. I haven't got a May shirt up yet, but whatever. Understeer to Victory is still there and it's glorious. God damn it. Buy it. I own one. Yes, you do. And you look great in it. No, I don't. Don't lie to me. You don't look great in anything, <laughs> but that is another thing you don't look great in. <laughs> you say I can wear that on a date and I might actually look okay in it on a date. Did you even listen to what I said? <laughs> no. I'm All right. Just, still stuck in my own head. Yeah, there you go. Just don't worry about it, Zach. Do not worry about it. Uh, camautoswag.com, hats, shirts, bags, phone cases from your favorite podcast that is recorded in an unfinished basement in Midvale. Camautoswag.com. Oh, uh, God. All right. So, uh, LA has unveiled their version of a Green New Deal, and it is... It is going to kind of change how fucking car culture in L.A. is if it actually happens. And it is, I mean, listen, these are the people that had, like, just an impenetrable layer of smog, and then they implemented clean air rules back in the 60s. And still have an impenetrable layer of fog. Less so now. Now I don't need to drop something from space. I just need to get near there to get through it. So, progress. Baby steps. Gotta gotta crawl before you can walk. Uh, anyway, a lot of it really centers on reducing people driving. So, let's see. Uh, transportation is responsible for twenty one percent of the city's carbon emissions, and it's going to t- uh, this Green New Deal is going to tackle every source of greenhouse emissions. Uh, and where is it? Okay, so um, they're going to li- start getting towards getting rid of internal combustion cars and getting towards zero emissions vehicles. Uh, By 2050, they want to have just the city full of zero emissions vehicles. Uh, They want to add 28,000 electric vehicle charging stations to facilitate this, which is, you know, an admirable goal, and they want to reduce how often and how far people are driving. But I'm going to kind of free... You know, not force you to read this giant, dense-ass Gizmodo article. But um, here's a problem that, you know, L.A. has not ever really dealt with. Uh, Like, public transit is not a fucking thing. Right. It was barely a thing, and then it stopped being a thing. And they have never bothered to look back and say, hey, we need this fucking thing. I'm pretty sure Flux City has better public transit than L.A. does. Yeah, no, L.A., like, public transit in L.A. is a joke. Like, if you have to get anywhere, you are driving, you're taking an Uber. Infrastructure in L.A. is a joke. (laughs) You're not wrong. Just the whole topic of infrastructure and and civil engineering in general in L.A. is kind of a fucking laughing matter. Yeah, no, and, like, so they want to increase public transit. Good. Here's the problem, though. 
They're not necessarily saying, hey, we're going to make it easier for you to get from point A, being your house or your apartment or wherever, to point B, C, D, whatever, by not having to fire up your car. It's still very much, you're going to have to get in your car and go someplace before you can get on, like, commuter rail or a bus or whatever. Kind of like how it is here, and it makes me really mad. Yeah. Because I would love to just use the train. Yeah. I hate to be that guy that just doesn't shut up about the one thing he did. But that was the great thing about Japan, or Tokyo specifically, is that it was like you didn't have to walk very far to get to public transit. Yeah. But here you got to walk from my apartment. It's like a 30-minute walk just to get up to a goddamn train yeah. station. Yeah. Like and you then you, you ride it to wherever, and it drops you off in some ambiguous spot, which is either north or south of wherever that train station is. You're fucked if you have to go to a college. Oh, yeah. yeah. Unless like, you want to get onto a bus and be raped. Like, yeah. Like a bus that has a weird-ass circuitous route that doesn't really go anywhere you need it to. Yeah, like, right. And also, so, if you are going to the U, that's still almost an hour trip from but, our oh, house to... My yeah. girlfriend does that. She, it's, it's like an hour and a half just to get to school. Yeah, yeah no, it's not like... No, it's it's not fun. And, it, like, the problem that L.A. is facing is worse than what we have, even though we are both cities with that contain other smaller cities. Mm. You know. <laughs> Shout out to Glendale. Um, we see you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Out there with hard ass Armenians clocking the streets. We didn't forget about the hood. No. Nope. <laughs> uh, anyway, we still got love for the hood. Yeah. Anyway, they also want to build, um, you know, housing closer to these public transit things. But that also, I mean, they're also still including like, oh yeah, by the way, people are still going to have cars, so there's going to be, you know, like apartment block, giant fucking parking garage. You know, like you're kind of like shift. You're just kind of kicking the can down the road. Yeah, it just sounds like another one of those laws where the politician wants something on the resume. Yeah. Like, like well, this is the thing that'll get, like, like alcohol laws here, where uh, a politician knows it's going to get passed. Yep. So they're like, yeah, well, this is going to pass. This is a demographic here. will love this. Throw it in there. Hey, look, I've got something on my, I did a thing. Yeah. Pump me up the politician hierarchy. Uh, but the thing is, like, specifically with L.A., they are so, like, insular. Like, they are kind of, you know, like, with the rest of California, everybody thinks of California as, like, this democratic stronghold it's like well no you get outside of la yeah like it's fucking cowboy country well, that's one know. of my favorite things about um grand theft auto 5 is it portrays that really well yeah. is they have it's supposed to be the state of california and there's like a hick area because oh, yeah. in california believe it or not there's a fucking hick area yeah, hello like, barstow oh my god barstow's a scary even the daylight it's a scary <laughs> ass place were what? you were you with us when we came back from um maybe you weren't when we came back from uh, Oktoberfest nope, it was at Bear that Lake was, that was not me no. found those scary ass abandoned ruins out in the middle of nowhere They're like let's go check these out and I'm walking through I'm like oh, I'm gonna get raped in the <laughs> middle of these fucking weird ass ruins no my experience with Barstow is in the fucking Viper with Trent and that thing kicking another check engine light Ooh, Chrysler ah uh, Malay guess, guess what I'm pretty Malay's. sure has has uh, fucking bodied my Volvo. <laughs> the one Chrysler part on the entire car. Oh, god damn. <laughs> so I did the ignition control module, which yeah. is a Chrysler piece. Oh. oh. <laughs> Thanks, yeah, Belazera. Chrysler. Suddenly the problem is acting different, so thank you, Chrysler. God damn it. Can't That's the part out. that failed. Yeah. But I will say that L.A., if they want to do something, like, they have the political machine to make this fucking happen. As yeah. And as being the seat of car culture, it's going to, like... It won't quite ban cars, but it will alter transit. Yeah. And seeing as how transit in the city is cars, like, it's going to be very, very different. I don't know. I mean, 2015 is, or 2015, 2050 is a pretty, <laughs> it's, like, it's a pretty good lead time. Yeah. I just don't feel like that's going to be very easy to implement, even no. within a 30 year, no, it's going, 31 year. You're going to have people kicking and screaming the whole damn time. And yeah. for understandable reasons, you know, yeah. I can still go out like the fucking van, the thing I sleep in occasionally. That that thing cost me five grand. You know, a five thousand dollar like used leaf is still kind of a scary proposition. Yeah, they're going to need to start building now. Yeah, you know, they would have to start. I mean, really, a subway system is the best way you're going to be. You can't just build it on top of the shit that's already been there. You have no. to start digging. Yep, and you have to start building now. <coughs> Boring company. No, that's never going to fucking do. public. Uh, people, as much as I like Elon Musk, people who do <laughs> boring company, people who do that shit look at it and they're like, "What the fuck is this supposed to do?" 
<laughs> yes, you're not wrong. No, like, <laughs> shout out to Elon Musk, billionaire son of rich, successful people. Of literally they, mom. They, the son of literally mom. God damn. Just. Hey, he's done more than Trump did before getting rich. I mean, give him give him that much credit. That he actually did stuff on his own. I will give him credit for that. Mm-hmm. However, though, we do. You have to take like, listen. If we can be fans of race car drivers, oh god, yeah, <laughs> because <laughs> that's nothing but just rich kids. I'm sorry. Listen, you have to like, you have to be able to take a step back and just understand. Like, yes, okay, these kids are rich, and therefore they were granted opportunities to do things like drive carbon fiber tubs with crazy ass engines strapped to them. Yep. Elon Musk was granted opportunities to go study at colleges that we could never even afford to apply to. Because I, think, I think you're a little realistic there. Colleges we couldn't even afford to hear about. No, that's we've gotten past that. Oh. Like, yeah, no, uh, yeah, like because his dad was a fucking emerald magnate and his mom was a supermodel. Like the he was play, He's just playing the hand that he has been dealt, and un- and his hand is all aces. Me, I got the Joker rules to draw and stud poker. That blank card. <laughs> the wait, one, wait, the one card with the rules on it. <laughs> wait, you got cards? I got a business card. I, I wasn't a, even dealt this round. I got a. <laughs> and the package was chewed by the fucking family dog. Got an old Metro card. I do actually have a pack. I think that this is you. I have a pack of cards that are from Vegas, and it's just the lineup of strippers that are like have their hands on each other's asses. Hell yeah, <laughs> that's me. That's <laughs> the a drunk fucking pack of cards. Yep. Oh god. Uh, Zach was. We need a fuck counter for this one, just because I'm here. Uh, it, that ain't gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> that requires me to actually go through and count. Yeah, but yeah, you guys were dealt cards. Yeah, yeah. No, you were just given. You're just like, yeah, we'll deal you in next time. Yeah. Moving on. <laughs> uh, I'm here though. Yep. Well, in the news story that is right <laughs> up our fucking alley. <laughs> I read this on what? Facebook and I laughed what the, the whole time. What the fuck am I looking at? Okay, please tell me it starts with Florida Man. I think it does. <laughs> please, dear Ford God. Ford versus Chevy debate finally settled with knives and guns. The American way. And that photo is amazing, too. <laughs> and we found a way to dump some tea into a river. <laughs> oh, God. This happened in Virginia during a pre-Easter dinner. Can I read this? Please do. The battle of which is better, (laughs) Ford or Chevy, has been raging since the dawn of human civilization. Thousands of years before the Ford Motor Company or the Chevrolet division of General Motors even existed, the battle is finally over, thanks to the decisive results of an argument in Virginia during a pre-Easter dinner that ended in a gun and knife wounds. The dinner party included 56-year-old Mark Edwin Turner, his girlfriend, her son, and her son's girlfriend. (laughs) At some point during the dinner, the discussion turned into what manufacturers of cars and trucks is superior, Ford or Chevy, as as is traditional for priests or dinner, as God intended. (laughs) While the sides taken by various parties have not been released by authorities... We do know that at some point in the undoubtedly well-reasoned debate, Turner and his girlfriend's son found themselves at some sort of an ir- intractable point, which Turner attempted to resolve via the use of a knife instead of all that useless talking. <laughs> Turner's girlfriend stepped between Turner and her son, attempting to defuse the situation, but was stabbed in the lower back by Turner, causing a cinch- six-inch wound. So here's, here's a tweet from uh, Whitney Burney of WSET. It happened here on Shepherd Lane around 11.30 last night. Neighbors say they believe there was some sort of argument that led to a shooting. Some sort of argument. (laughs) Police say 56-year-old Mark Turner is the shooter. By the way, Mark Turner looks exactly as you're picturing him. Don't change a thing. When they arrived at his home, they found three people with non-life-threatening injuries. Police have not identified the victims. Uh, finding the knife, finding the knife's results unsatisfactory, <laughs> like you do, obviously. We Turner have- returned to the house and emerged with a gun, which he used to shoot his fucking girlfriend once again. Be- once again, between Turner and her son, five times in the leg, ricocheting bullets struck the son's girlfriend in the back of- in the back and cheek. Oh, excuse me! And the son was shot in the arm. Shockingly. There was possible drug activity at the residence in inverted quotes. <laughs> and investigators took a smoking device, device, three <laughs> green plants, inverted quote, quotes, unquote. and drug paraphernalia from the home, among other items. I really hope Like a know. big 
black, throbbing, and agitated yelling Turner was arrested by police and has been charged with felony malicious wounding, use of a firearm in the commission of a felony, and position of a firearm by a felon. You don't say. Thankfully, nobody was killed, or I would like to revise that sentence. Because of this loon's ridiculous actions, also would like to revise that sentence. But at least all of his senseless violence, not senseless violence, has finally settled the Ford versus... So... The verdict, AMC is best. True fact. Damn so, right. So I know I just read that out loud, but which yeah. one was the Ford guy? Which one was the Chevy guy? We don't know. It hasn't we been released do yet. not Why? know. But I really want to know. I want to. That's why I have yet well, to see. Whichever side that guy is on, I'm in it. <laughs> <laughs> you got like a brand has got to be good for you to brandish. But, but if you read <laughs> not the... just brandish, open fire on your girlfriend. That's that's a good fucking brand right there. God damn. Because I hate them both equally, so I'm I'm down to just God. pick whichever one causes guns to be brandished. Girlfriend doesn't have your back. Clearly, she's defending that shitbag son of hers. It must be a fucking whatever the hell this guy doesn't like owner. God, yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Shit. Do we have the address? What? What do we want to mail him? Like a thank you bag? <laughs> no. Or an Easter basket? <laughs> no. Google Maps. What? Which car is parked in the driveway? I don't. Oh shit. Okay, well, you get on that, buddy. Okay. Yeah. P.I. Lords. <laughs> Detective Zacky Pants. He's on the case. In Chai P.I. <laughs> oh, God damn. Uh, so you remember us talking a while ago about uh, fuck? Dodge releasing this uh, this elephant crate engine. Oh, dude, I want two. Okay, so uh, for those not paying attention, Tough shit, dude. the Elephant was <laughs> a me, right? seven liter supercharged, not street legal, thousand horsepower engine that you could go ahead and buy for thirty fucking grand from Mopar and stick it anything you had no desire to ever use on the streets in any sort of legal manner. Thirty thousand dollars for what a thousand horsepower is actually kind of budget money. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, another three grand, and you could like they'd sell you everything else that you needed to go with it to put it in something. Guess what? You probably go to a dealership if you break it. I mean, in does center, it come with a warranty? Uh, they would warrant. I don't think they would warranty the engine. They would warranty all the other shit with it. Mm, well, good but, enough for me. Whatever. It's better than a two J. Yep. Uh, so. God damn. Uh, they released it. Uh, they started taking pre-orders on April 26th, and two days later, they sold the fuck out. <laughs> Apparently, people agree with me. Damn, that's like... Well, that's surprising. I thought they made way more than that, but... Uh, Would you like me to get you another beer in there, Michael? Anybody? But apparently, yes, they only produced around 100 of them. Yeah, they only produced 100 of these things. Because, I mean, this is like a hand-built engine. Like, they had to put... They had to do everything by hand to make this shit happen. So, understandable that, you know have that many. I, I like to think that they're all handwritten like AMG names and so it's going to be like Kyle K- <laughs> George Jorge George <laughs> <laughs> or Jorge George George. There you go. <laughs> oh man. Uh, so from uh, on the Hellcat.org forum a poster wrote that the engines quote can only be sold through a dealer and that the dealers can only order one engine per week. They gotta mail somebody off to Georgia where they can become certified in hell- elephant engines. Jesus, to work on it. I want that business card certified in elephants. Yeah, there you certified go. Certified elephant tech. Uh, what does that mean? Don't you worry about that, bitch. Don't you fucking worry about it. Uh, don't worry. There, there are rumors that they'll do another limited run next year because of the overwhelming demand. So I tell you, but I'd have to fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God damn! In a single wide in the woods. <laughs> anyway, uh, here we here here's the, here's the, here's the most important part. The elephant doesn't come with Mopar's three year hundred thousand mile warranty. Shit! <laughs> During a press briefing last October, FCA officials said they weren't sure about offering any warranty based on the motor being given a part number sta- starting with the letter P. There is a little bit of protection, but it's a 90-day limited warranty covering <laughs> defects in materials or workmanship and only applies to engines not used in competition, i.e. every one of these fucking engines. Uh, here it comes, Formula D. Uh, I love how it's starting with the number P, like the grand, <laughs> the grand like, violator, the letter P, <laughs> yep. violates all warranties. Fucking coming in hot out of goddamn nowhere. But yeah, so there we go. I look forward to the videos of like 
this being put into like, I don't know, like a Camaro or some bullshit I like that. I want to see somebody put it in an SLC. I want to see somebody put this in an old fucking like Dodge powered Winnebago. That'd be awesome. A <laughs> Winnebago fucking bago. That'd be pretty sweet. <laughs> Just like a 73 Winnie. But I look forward to the YouTube video. <laughs> Get to where you're going now. <laughs> Just that thing is breaking apart as they're getting on the fucking freeway. <laughs> Three, two, Grand Canyon. <laughs> Canyon Arrow. <laughs> Three, two. Didn't we have a bedroom and a bathroom on this thing? <laughs> what happened to the, the last? The bed's on fire. <laughs> what happened to the last third of the RV? <laughs> <laughs> I look forward to the YouTube videos of like someone putting this in like a more modern car, um, and then taking it into the dealership and being like, "I don't know, it has a check engine light. I don't know what's going on with it, guys. Can you look at it?" And they come out being like, "Uh, what the fuck?" Yeah, shout out to that rich dick who thought that was a fun joke. But you can see it happening, like, oh yeah, I can see it happening, and I can see it being just as not funny as you're describing it. <laughs> Is what I'm saying funny? <laughs> no, <laughs> exactly. Like, Oh no, we're gonna, we're gonna see that some dude's gonna put one in a fucking three hundred C, and then show up, and yeah, oh, it's doing something weird. Look to camera with a shit eating grin. Yeah, it's just it's just a stock, you know, Dodge motor. Yeah, you know? I bought it this way. Yep. Well, yeah, the Chrysler. You know, and uh, smash Twenty that, bucks. Smash that little bell for more fucking idiocy. Fucking ram that like button into the goddamn concrete wall. <laughs> just fucking, just push it into your neighbor's fucking real house. Chrysler hours. Who up? Push it into the next townhouse. You share a wall. <laughs> like, <please. laughs> oh, yeah. Goddamn, like the Kool Aid Man at the beginning of the Walk This Way video. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's a reference yeah. for some people. Anyway, there we go. That is that is the news that we bring you. We are. I'm sorry. <laughs> one of us is a journalist. Maybe the one who's been calling somebody by the wrong fucking name for the last year and a half. But that's neither here nor there. Is that a thing? I may or may not have been calling somebody by the wrong name for the last year and a half, but it doesn't matter. Every time I see this person in real life, they just side eye me real hard. Yeah, well, that's most of the people I know. Yep. Uh, anyway, so there we go. Um, there was there was racing this weekend. Um, but first, I must mention our our gracious sponsor, City Broke Clothing. Steady dot broke on all social media. Steadybroke dot com on the wider internet. Use coupon code Cam Auto fifteen at checkout to save fifteen percent on your entire order, which means you can go get yourself the fancy fucking ramen. Hmm. <laughs> Because this stuff is already dirt cheap. Go get yourself the, um... Fuck, I was going to make a joke, but then the word just <laughs> jumped out of my head like a suicidal teenager. Uh, it's all right. It happens. It happens to the best of us, buddy. Yep. Shit. Uh, that's the 14th reason. <laughs> the fucking, the, what is it, the, the Asian Isle of the Smiths. Uh, <laughs> you get some of the ramen out of that There section. you go. Uh, anyway. It's, yeah. it's um, Harmon's Ramen, not Walmart Ramen. Damn. Yep. Stead. The stuff that comes with three packs of seasoning, not one. Oh, boy. More yeah. more <laughs> it has compl- olive oil in the pack. More complicated instructions than boil water. Throw all <laughs> shit in. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Steadybroke.com. Coupon code CAMAUTO15 at checkout. Save 50% off of your entire order. Just because you're broke doesn't mean you can't live your dreams. Steady Stay broke. broke. There we go. So I would tell you about the IMSA racing that fucking happened this weekend, but I found out something very fun and annoying with the uh, the NBCSN app. So I was at my girlfriend's house. My girlfriend is an Xfinity customer. She just gets the internet because, you know, she doesn't need cable because she has her own Netflix and my Hulu and, and my Amazon. So, you know, all of her TV needs have been taken care of. So, but meanwhile, me, I wanted to watch some racing or at least a little bit of it. So, I fire up the NBCSN app, and I go to, you know, to the IMSA thing, because that's where IMSA lives now. It's on, it's on NBCSN, or NBC occasionally, or this app most of the time. So, what the fuck are you doing? Okay. So, uh, no, because I'm not a fucking edgelord. Jesus. Wow. <laughs> wow. Zach edgelords. You'll ever just shift on Teslas? It was just... <laughs> It was right there in front of is, us is the whole fucking time. Is that that manual elitist group? No, that's just Coleman. 
God. Coleman. Anyway. I'm sorry, Coleman. I don't hate you. I just hate your post. <laughs> it's pretty bad. <laughs> you to shift gears to flex on Teslas? Oh, I'm sorry about your penis. Uh-huh. <laughs> sorry, Mike. The Tesla driver's flexing on your fucking bank account. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lol, no oil. <laughs> R.I.P. oil. <laughs> Lol, my student loans are paid off. How about you, Ooh. peasant? Ooh. Ooh. You got out from under that fucking crippling umbrella of debt that you can't even escape in bankruptcy. Ooh. Look at you, Mr. Fancy Pants. Are, are we uncovering little little deep emotional scars there, Michael? I just uh, like... Just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. Just a touch. Just a touch. Don't worry. <laughs> Striking a chord. I, I heard it twang from here. Dang. <laughs> emotional chord. Dang. Yeah. So it's, it's G. It's the G chord. Just Dang. tuning up a banjo. Near, 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 near. <laughs> Dueling banjo with my emotions. <laughs> uh, just like that scene in Deliverance, except the only thing that's getting raped is my credit score. <laughs> wow. Uh, and my future. Squeal like a pig, FICO. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, that's going to ring Ooh. true for more for that's some of you. That's a fucking t-shirt. Uh, some of you are going to find that hilarious. Some of you on the board for Michael are grabbing a bottle off the shelf. And you know what? I'm not grabbing a bottle off the shelf because all of my all my stuff's in a filing cabinet. <laughs> anyway, I would pour one out of the curb, but I can't afford it. <laughs> we don't have a curb. <laughs> I can't afford the curb. You thought I had beer? <laughs> uh, Wait, anyway, do we have curbs. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> it just goes grass street. <laughs> There's no sign in front of our house. It's, it's like a rural area. It's grass. Like a gradient between grass and dirt. Yeah. And the then ditch. street. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Grantsville. God. Wow. Yeah. I'll throw some shade down there, why don't you? <laughs> what? Yeah, they'll crank up their fucking transistor radio to listen to this. <laughs> yinga dinga, yinga dinga, yinga dinga. Oh my god, dude. William Osmond made a mechanical television. <laughs> oh yes, god. that was so good. Yes. <laughs> He didn't even succeed, but it's still hilarious. Dude, him and Michael Reeves are my favorite. Oh, uh. my God. I love Michael Reeves all day. He's one of my favorite people ever. I, I remember when the China laser in my own eye video. Yes. Oh, or the fucking, the, the um, what is it, the Hawaii missile test bop yeah. it. <laughs> he makes a missile test system out of a bop it. Because <laughs> he used to live in Hawaii. Oh. Well, don't they all still right. live in Hawaii? Don't all of them? No. So Michael moved from Hawaii to California to live with um, William Osmond. Oh, new... I thought they all just lived in Ca- or Hawaii together. Oh, no. Yeah, because when he came over to make <laughs> the hot dog stand. <laughs> the the like, hot dog stand? Remember that? The voice I... that activated hot dog stand that just shat. Ketchup and <laughs> maybe is that a William Osmond video? Because yeah. I don't, I I can I can only stand William Osmond for a little bit. Oh, yeah, his humor yeah. doesn't quite strike me. Some yeah. of his videos are really good. Yeah, but some are not. But the, like the know. um, what is it? The boat race where they put an actual <laughs> they put an actual gun on the because the, <laughs> what? Because they go to like the RC boat, like not the RC boat race, but like the there's people because of course there are. Yeah, they're like <laughs> fucking people who have <laughs> t- like scale battleships, right? They have a frigate. <laughs> They've made a fucking frigate with guns on it. They're like. Perfect. And really accurate. They're like one like 130 second scale. Like they're perfect. And they put they put them in a pond together and they they shoot at each other. So they built a boat themselves and they put a fucking gun <laughs> like a like a Glock. <laughs> fucking, they built their own boat out of like a fucking like a like a Fruit Loops box and like a, a, a mis- and some Mississippi steamer wheels Holy and shit. a Glock. <laughs> And there's a photo of it, like, point blanking. And this boat, this guy has probably spent, like, thousands of hours building. Bam, bitch! God, God damn. Oh, naval warfare has never Let's been so gangster. William Osmond and Michael Reeves, some of the best yes. shit in the world. Oh, my God. Like, uh, Michael Reeves is, like, every well, teenager ever. you see ever. The, the cup he made where he's on that podcast <laughs> yeah. where if you don't drink fast enough, it, like, it, it tases, you. It tases yeah. you. It's a cup that if you don't drink your beer fast enough, it will tase you. So you're saying something we need for episode 200. Yes. yes. Okay, cool. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> my other favorite one is, I don't know, but what Osmond made, made a controller. He had to yell at it to hit the he, jump he button. He was on, what is Game it? Game Grumps. Yeah, Game Grumps. It's an N64 controller you have to yell at to jump. <laughs> Hell yes. Ah! 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 <laughs> he was going to use a lick sensor, so you'd have to look at every single time. Uh, that's uh, just so off-putting. That's a fucking thing. Yeah. God damn. 
Oh, okay. So we've uh, already taken this thing away <laughs> off the rails. It's because yeah, we're here. This rant took a weird turn. So IMSA. Yeah, so I couldn't. <laughs> IMSA. Yeah, so, you know, this thing that ostensibly two people are still listening to. God. That person who, who left left on um, play and walked away. Uh, yeah. Just walked off a fucking cliff. They're expecting to hear Imps all, the, all of a sudden they hear Mississippi Seamer with a <laughs> Glock attached to the top of it. Listen. Bam, you know, bitch. Listen, there are things you come here for, and then there are things you come here for. <laughs> I Any, come for Joey. Uh, come for the cars, stay for the Glock. Damn right. <laughs> come for the news, stay for the whatever the fuck is going on right now. Uh, uh, deep breath. So I, I think I watched more IMSA than you did this weekend. Probably, because I couldn't fucking get onto it because I was on my girlfriend's <laughs> Wi-Fi, and for whatever reason, Xfinity decided that that was the point in time to say, hey, this is clearly your Wi-Fi that you're logged into, so you don't have a cable subscription, so therefore you can't watch anything <laughs> in this fucking app. Wow. Yeah, it does Rip. the same thing for ESPN, even though... Like, with the iPhone, you can just, like, log into your cable subscriber, like, through the settings or whatever, and then it'll just log you into whatever TV provider app that you find. So, normally, it's not a fucking problem. But whenever I'm on my girlfriend's Wi-Fi, boy, it's, goddamn howdy. It's the world telling you to spend more time with her face-to-face. She had already left at that point, so oh. it was just me alone in her apartment, in her bathroom, yelling at my <laughs> phone. That's her roommates to just hear you. No, no roommate. She lives alone, but I don't give a shit. I mean, maybe the neighbors hear me, but I don't really give a shit because her neighbor's up. Upst- her neighbor's up. Upst- Are you guys familiar with the term of, like, the concept of Irish triplets? No. Please enlighten. Okay, or Irish twins. It is um, It is a slight against the Irish, so clearly, remember that? <laughs> I remember saying we're trying to avoid problematic shit, but here we are. Just not, not with me here. I'm diving sorry. Head. I, I will not. I will not have you avoiding problematic stuff. Diving head. I'm fucking... offended. Well, whatever. Good. <laughs> Grab a potato, Mick. Anyway, no. So the Irish twin or the Irish triplet is, you know, you have a child, and then less than a year later, like nine months later, you have another kid. Oh. <clears throat> yep. <laughs> yep. So. Her upstairs neighbors, like, in the couple of years my girlfriend has lived there, we have not seen the wife not pregnant. They have, like... Pregante. They have, like, five fucking kids. Pregantinance. Under the age of, like, seven up there. (laughs) And she's fucking pregnant again. Like, it is... We thought it would save the relationship. No! (laughs) Let's have more kids. Because that fixes everything. And here's the great thing. Like, the wife will actually, like, smile and say hi to me and, you know, like, more than, like, two words. But the husband just gives me the dirtiest fucking looks. (laughs) Meanwhile, with the girlfriend, the wife, like, the wife gives her the dirty looks, but the husband will say hi in more than two words to my (laughs) girlfriend. Like, I don't fucking get it. You guys should wife swap. I (laughs) really don't want that. (laughs) Nah, I'm good. (laughs) Why was that the thing that got you? Because I, I used to watch my swap. Because like, we had like we had like basic cable TV package, and that was what was on. Oh my god! So I watch Internet Historian. You know that? The, oh yes, 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 yes. You yes. Want to talk about the Balloon Boy. Yes. And it I turns did. out they were on Wife Swap. So I didn't know that either. So I remember the, the whole story, but I remember they were on Wife Swap. And I, I no, I. no, I remember the last. I don't remember. I didn't never learn about the actual Balloon Boy incident. Really? Yeah. But I remember <laughs> I was, that shit happening. Yeah. I was watching cable news when that shit was going on. Well, so, but I remember Celebrity Wife Swap. Flavor Flav swapped with, I don't know, like, some other generic. Fu- uh, fu- fuck yeah, let's get Flavor Flav on. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Can we have him as a guest in the podcast? <laughs> Please. I mean, I don't Please. know. I'm assuming he comes cheap, Please. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll just wear, wear clocks we for just, him. We just put a big clock on Dave. That's pretty much Flavor Flav, yeah, right? Same thing. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, <laughs> did you see his newest one, um, Internet Historian? So, oh, Internet Historian. Um, it, was that the ar- Instagrabbing of yeah, our inst- or of on our, our, our uh, slash dank memes? Yeah, Instagrabbing, yeah. It was pretty fucking I awesome. was part of that. I made, made a couple of those memes. Not on his thing, but I posted some memes. Good job. See, and, and there was this whole thing where you're at the beginning of the podcast. You're oh, like, am, you. I, am I in the meme lord? Can I keep talking? Neat. I can be heard through Michael. <laughs> <laughs> All he's got to do is yell loud enough. 
Thanks, Zach. So cool. I said that we're the meme lords, so. Yeah. Oh, well, let's you're check. associating with me? I am. Let's Aww. see if we can uh, just see these poll results. To me, it says 50-50, but I don't think that's true. Oh, God. First, so I got to get all of this. Either way, Michael, fuck, their, uh, fuck her upstairs, upstairs neighbors. Fuck those guys. Yeah. They suck. God, okay, they so what I was saying, too, was um, I'm pretty sure I watched more IMSA than you did. Yes, you did. Because I was at Texas Roadhouse, and it was playing in the background, and I watched about two minutes before I changed it to some generic sports channel. Neat. Yeah. That's always fun. It was fun. And then I heard them play um, <laughs> Old Town Country Road yeah. three times at Texas Roadhouse. I wanted Actually. to kill myself. Well, Zan loves that song. Uh, it, it isn't the, bad. The film that she made, she put it in there, but it was like some weird dance music remix. Duh. Okay. <laughs> Damn. All right. So what, what's the result? Still 50-50. How many votes? <laughs> Two. <laughs> Yeet and Nelson, but daughter. <laughs> Nelson, but have vagina. <laughs> Oh, we don't have a timer for this episode. Are we realize. not allowed to say right. pussy on this well, podcast? What are we? What What does the time say, Zach? I can We're at one twenty-five. Okay, and so we started this at forty. God damn! So this thing's like forty minutes long. That's Why it? am I not surprised? I mean, is it only supposed to be like thirty minutes? No, it's supposed to be like fifty-five-ish. So we're we're right on track because we still have um one segment left. We have yeah, the clo- we have yeah, closing the- arguments. <laughs> As Joey D throats a fucking microphone. I've been wanting to do that for the past 30 minutes. I was like, fuck it. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. It's actually sweet. Mm, tastes good. <laughs> I, I like it when he cleans them and they smell clean. And they smell Not like, like my asshole breath. And they smell oh, like disinfectant. Dude. <sighs> actually smell really good. <laughs> Did you want another hit? <laughs> it, the Lysol tastes good, too. It was really sweet. Wow. All right. <laughs> Let's unpack that for a minute. <laughs> How the fuck did we get here? I am the destructive member of the podcast. <laughs> self-destructive member of the podcast. I Clearly. Am, I am Florida Man. <clears throat> Can that be my wrestler name now that I have my mask? <laughs> yes. Florida Man? Now that you have another mask, <laughs> Florida Man. Fuck, you just show up with just like dragging a case of MGD. Florida Matacho. It's just like spilling out the back. <laughs> just can after can, just clanking behind you. <laughs> Fucking bath salts just all over my nose. <laughs> uh, just... Well, there we go, uh, folks. Another episode of whatever the fuck this was. Thank I'm you for here to ruin everything. <clears throat> I mean, if you stuck around for this, God bless you. We thank you. <clears throat> and uh, if you're if you're dumb enough to stick around to the end of this one, maybe you're dumb enough to give us money on Patreon. Patreon.com/slash CamAutoMag. We're gonna be spending your money to build us a new table, one that's bigger, one that build can, this table, one that can accommodate things. Yeah, what build this table? Okay. That was Was that a record scratch back there? Ah, wait. Yes it was. Oh god, yeah, bigger table. I love you, Joey. <laughs> yeah, bigger table, one that could accommodate more things. Not necessarily more people, just make everybody comfortable. Which is really the key thing here. You need about thirty to fifty percent more table. <laughs> we need a hundred percent more table. <laughs> I mean, listen, I'm not saying that the new table is going to be roughly twice the size of this one, but it's going to be pretty fucking close. Well, I want to argue about this real quickly. What? I'm the biggest member here, yep. and I have the least space. Yeah. That's because I, the fattest member, <laughs> uh, previously I was about to occupied... Say, what is our definition of big, exactly? <laughs> yeah. I, EA, EA me, Sports big, or... Me, the member that, you know, produces his own gravity strong enough to get a beer can in orbit around him. I bet I weigh more than you. Okay. <laughs> Do I ask you what you weigh? Do you want to? <laughs> yeah. Like 280. Oh, we weigh the exact same. Wow. I weigh myself today at 279. But you're more proportioned. How am I the lightest person here by 40 fucking pounds? <laughs> Let's get Potentially David here. more. <laughs> because I went to an all-inclusive Mexican resort and then just kind of have continued eating. As <laughs> Honestly, left. that looked like the greatest time ever. Holy Everything you post, I'm like, I want to be drunk and very full in that environment. Dude, it, it looks is amazing. The great thing about an all inclusive resort is you just treat the restaurants there like they're fucking buffets. <laughs> like, if you, like, you just order whatever and they keep bringing it to you. And, like, if you get sick of something, they're like, I'm done with this. Bring me this. <laughs> and, like, drinks are included. So, so it was just all, like, in the price included. Everything's good to go. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds like a brilliant way to spend a week. Oh, God. It was fucking glorious. It was right there on the beach. Bring me one of everything. They would come to you and take your drink order and then bring you a drink as you're sitting there. 
<laughs> oh, I was watching. I was watching a Pat Oswald bit <laughs> about the, the the drunkest show he's ever done. <laughs> Have you heard that? Uh huh. <laughs> like, they put me in this five bedroom like room, and this girl says, "Okay, I'm going to come back and get you at you know six, you know ten ten to seven or whatever, so we can yeah. go do this VIP meet." He's like, "Okay, awesome." She leaves. I masturbate in two rooms, and she shows up at about <laughs> ten before seven. <laughs> Because what are you going to do in a big-ass room? Like, yeah. you're, you're a fucking comic with nothing else going on. You're going to jack off in two rooms and then... Yeah. I, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to think how I'd spend my time, and that's basically it. Oh. I mean, you think of, like, how many comics have jack-off jokes about being in a hotel room. Oh, yeah. Joe Rogan, Pat Oswalt, Louis C.K. Kyle Kinane. They all have jack-off jokes. Oh, yeah. Just being in a hotel room, yeah. Isn't that just all of Louis C.K.'s jokes, though? Isn't that also the thing that made him disappear for like two years? That's his life outside of comedy, <laughs> which also careened directly into his comedy life <laughs> and everybody else's life. Is this how that in I a miss big him, metal though? tube. Oh yes, but oh god, yeah. No, it, it, if you if you can, like an all inclusive is just it, it is the ultimate gift to yourself. <sighs> Sounds so good. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll talk a little bit more about it. Uh about it off air but yeah no like the only because <laughs> everybody wants to hear about my vacation well i don't i will i think i said this last time the only thing i fucking paid for was i paid 35 dollars to have surf and turf at this one restaurant there on our last night there so i'm thinking i'm just gonna get like you know like a six ounce steak and a lobster tail because you know i'm going to order seafood when we're literally on the ocean it's a dumb move to not Right. Well, it's right there. Yeah. So uh, I tell the waiter. Plot twist. They've imported it from California. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Shit. We're taking our avocados. They're taking our lobsters. <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, so me and the girlfriend were like, well, we both want to take a look at this lobster menu. Dude brings over this lobster menu. He's like, okay, you can do surf and turf with any lobster prepared any way that you want. And, you know, he's just like, this is, these are the different ways you can do it. There's also the seafood platter, which is, you know, lobster tail and all this other stuff. Girlfriend gets the seafood platter. I get the surf and turf, you know, with the lobster tail in this fucking, like, cream and bacon sauce. Because, God damn it, I'm going full America. The way God intended. <laughs> and so here I am thinking it's just going to be, like, a decent-sized lobster tail and a steak. And she's going to get, you know, like, a smattering of seafood and a lobster tail. No. The lobster tail, singular, as is stated on the menu, is actually fucking three lobster tails. <laughs> like, Big ones. Lobster tail is in. You're going to be eating lobster tail. Yeah, <laughs> not not quantity. You're going to be eating lobster tail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we both get fucking three lobster tail. Her seafood platter runneth over with the bounty of the ocean. <laughs> like Poseidon just walked in and just like fuck my friends. Wham. <laughs> Have at them. Uh, yeah. No. And it was. Thank you, Aquaman. <laughs> I pray. I prayeth to thee. <laughs> Thank you, Namor. And thou shalt grant it. <laughs> Thank you, Namor. We appreciate it. But yeah, no, 35 bucks for just, like, gout-inducing amounts of seafood. That is amazing. Yeah. No, it's one of those, like... I'd pay 35 bucks for that. Oh. Unless I was limping around the airport the entire next day, but I don't give a shit. Worth it. Fucking... Absolutely, we're still burping up lobster smoke. Just like... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, totally fucking worth it. But there we go. That is a podcast and also an endorsement of any all-inclusive resort that you can get your hands on. Uh, yep. Do it. Yep. Uh, we'll be back on Thursday or Wednesday if you're a patron and you're giving us at least $5 a month. Because that's the magic number to get early access to Thursday episodes, bonus content, and get you into that aforementioned super secret Cam Shenanigans Facebook group which is a thing that you should probably go ahead and get into because Sam Babbler is establishing himself in that group. I'm not going to say dominance, but he is establishing <laughs> himself there. Just dick out on the counter. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Doesn't care if he's going to win or lose. It's there. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so we'll be back on Thursday. Uh, we'll talk about the Patreon. Uh, we are at Cam Automag on all the social medias. Feel free to tell us what you thought of this episode there. Or send an email to mailback at camautomag.com for your long-form hatred. <laughs> Either way, uh, podcast is available wherever you get your podcasts. Apple, po Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, so on and so forth. <clears throat> uh, for episode 189, 
whatever the fuck this thing was. I have been Mike. I have been Zach. I have been Dad Noises. <laughs> Do it. There we go. Is it going to be silent? No, it's. Uh, we're, I'm going to keep talking to you as you do this, reminding you to do this thing. <laughs> well, I'm doing it right now. Good. It's happening. Keep doing yeah, it. We're doing it. Yeah, we are. Oh, harder. Do it, Zach. Oh, yeah. Do it. Ah, do ah! it, Zach.